Greetings, today we're looking at a simple iLogic rule that's going to enable you in one go to change the sheet metal rule for every single part uh, that's a sheet metal part in the active assembly, uh, no matter how deep the assembly is, so it'll do multiple levels of the assembly. And because we're changing a sheet metal rule, not just the thickness parameter, um, those of you who are familiar with sheet metal will be aware that the sheet metal rule actually changes the material if you want, uh, to obviously change the bend radius, um, your, your relief allowance, all that kind of stuff. Um, so let's just drill down into one of these parts and just explain what I'm talking about. So if I double click on several of these, uh, one of these sheet metal parts, go into my sheet metal defaults, let's just see, we can see the active sheet metal rule is called 5mm. We do want this box always ticked so that the rule defines what the thickness is, not a manual override. And if I look in my rules here, I can see that I've got quite a few uh, i've only got a couple of sheet metal rules in here but i want to switch between three mil five mil and six mil sheet metal rules and as you can see that can also change the material as well as everything else in these options here so um that's what we're driving at um if i return to back to the top level of the assembly here now let's have a quick look at the iLogic rule um so if i double click on this iLogic rule um, the key line in this rule, you can see it's not too long here, just copy and paste it in. The key line here is this one, which is saying I'm going to activate um, a sheet metal rule called active rule. Now that active rule um, there um, should be the name of a parameter in your assembly. So if I just cancel out of this, if I try and run this rule now, you'll see what happens when you first copy and paste it in. It's going to tell me. I need a multi-value parameter called active rule in this assembly for this code to work. Okay, so that's what you'll get if you try running it and just copying and pasting. So what you have to do is in, you can do this in your template if you want your assembly template, but if I go into parameters here, um, and I, what I need to do is to hit uh, add text down here and create a parameter, go spell this correctly, called active rule, and then you can start typing in in here the names of the sheet metal rules that you've got um, in your style library. So if I right click and say multi-value on this parameter, I only had a couple in there, didn't I? So five mil and six mil, that's fine. Um, and I'll say okay to that. So now I can pick the active rule here. Um, and in fact, that's how um, I can change the sheet metal rule for every part in the assembly. I don't have to run this rule manually. Um, it will trigger itself when that active rule parameter changes so let's just zoom in a bit so that we can see what happens and let's see if this works so rather than um, accessing the parameters dialog here and changing it I'm simply going to add it into a form that parameter I just created so I'm going to right click in forms add form bring that active rule parameter in and just say okay and now I can bring this form up and it's a bit easier access so if I change the active rule to six millimeters And uh, it might yeah it might take a few seconds depending on how large your assembly is. Obviously, it's got to go into every part. Um, and there we go. You can see that's changed it. Change it back to three. It runs it automatically. And every part, every sheet metal part in the assembly will update. Happy days. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>